this is the bonus abs. Uh, Olivia, she liked the BOSU ball, that, um, the curl position that I was in. I just did it with the ball. Uh, so there you go, Olivia. Give that one a whirl. Uh, we're going to start with that one. There are eight exercises. So you're going to get a 10 second rest, 45 second work. I've got a different one in there for number two. So uh, a little bit different of a move. If you want to do the BOSU ball move, if you're on the floor, you'd be in the hover position again. And instead of tapping to the BOSU, you would tap back to your feet, your calves, your shins, would come all the way down, pull forward, and engage the core. Oh, I think I did that hand, didn't I? The next one, you can either do on a ball, on the BOSU, or you can do it on the floor. Oh, when you do them slow and you come back down, they are really hard. Okay, if you're doing it on the BOSU, it's slow, slow, oblique. Slow crunch, slow, slow mountain climber, slow mountain climber, oblique. Slow, slow, oblique. Right knee is going to come up. And you're going to twist outside of that right leg. take it from the left or the right side over to the left and you're gonna crunch going to do a right side plank. Oh, wait a minute. Lay over the BOSU. And we're going to crunch the knees in. My bad, my bad.
Alright. Now we're doing the right side plank. This way. Twist under and back up. Left side plank. Under, reach up. Tuck under, look under that left armpit, and then come all the way up. Keep the hips lifted, keep the core engaged. Don't let the hips sag. If it gets to be too much, you can drop down to a knee or to your elbow. Extensions. You can lay over the BOSU. You can place your hands, let them hover. Make sure that you twist your palms out so that you're not rounding your shoulders down. It's not about how high you lift. It's about contracting the muscles in the lower back, the erectus vena muscles that run alongside the spine. If you're gonna do abdominals, you must do your lower back. That way you don't have an imbalance. Okay, we're gonna go through them again. I'm gonna show you if you don't have a BOSU ball, you don't need a BOSU ball to be able to do this work, these abs. I'll show you them. And if the planks hurt your wrists, I'll show you an alternative this time around. If you, are, if you can do the planks and they don't hurt your wrists, then you can continue to do the planks. So if you're doing the hover position, if, again, if this position hurts your wrists, come down onto your back, lay on your back, and do a reverse tabletop. So you're going to keep your legs where they are, lift your upper body off the floor, and you're gonna tap down. But if you can, do the crawl position. If it doesn't hurt your wrists, you're gonna, sorry about that, lost my train of thought. Remember, when you come down, back is flat, core is engaged, head is looking forward. Okay, we've got the two slow mountain climbers to the oblique. So, you can do it on the floor. One, two, turn. One, two, turn. One, two, turn.
One, two, turn. Woo. Okay, if you don't have a BOSU, you're gonna lay on the floor. Arms are gonna go to the left. Cross over, twist right. Now we're going with the left leg. So you can either lay on the BOSU or you can lay on the floor. Left leg goes out. Roll up. Twist, elbows, outside of left leg. Okay, this one you crunch the knees in, either on the BOSU or on the floor. If you don't want to roll up, you can keep your body in a straight line. Now, if your back is raising off the floor, that means that you're Abdominals are weak. You need to raise your legs up higher so that you keep that back in the floor. You don't want it to be a hip flexor move. You want to feel it pull from the pelvis all the way to the rib cage. Whew. Okay. If those planks are hard, on your wrists and you don't want to take it to your elbows you can do v up contract the right oblique left. Let either left side plank, which means you'd be on the left side, or if it hurts your wrists, left V up. And hyperextensions. Roll over onto that stomach. You can either keep your hands on the floor or you can lift the hands off the floor and hover and you're gonna come up. You're not pushing up with your arms. 
You're just supporting your upper body on the floor with your hands and you're contracting and working the lower back. You don't have to swing your head back. You want to keep a neutral spine and you want to feel that contraction in the lower back. Whew. All right. Get ready for the cool down and the stretch. Sit back into a child's pose. Wide knees. Sit back here. Feel that stretch through the hips. Take the arms out into full post arms. Stretch out the shoulders. Lift up with that right hand. Thread that left hand under. Thread the needle. Make sure that palm is facing down to the floor first. Feel that stretch in the outside of the shoulder. Now turn that palm up, relax on that ear, feel that stretch across the back, the back of the shoulder, and feel that, that stretch in the chest. You'll feel that chest crunch in. Bring that right hand in, press up, pull that left hand up, open up, Circle that arm around just a few times. Circle it the opposite way. And lower it down. Bring the left leg, leg, bring the left hand out. Thread that right hand under, palm faces down first. Feel that stretch on the outside of the shoulder. Rest that head right there at that right ear and temple on the floor. Feel a nice stretch through the shoulder, top of the shoulder and the side. Then you're going to turn that palm and rest on the temple and feel that stretch in the rear belt, across the back, and you'll feel that chest. Slide that left hand in, pull that right arm through, raise it up, circle it around, Loosen up that shoulder just a little bit. Circle it the opposite way. And then we're gonna bring the knees in. Bring the hands down. Walk the hands out. Keep the knees lined up with the hips and come on into puppy pose. Lower the elbows to the floor. Get the chest as close to the floor as you can. Feel that stretch through the, the chest, the shoulders, across the back. Inhale, exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale, and exhale. Slide the hands in just part of the way. Press back into the feet. Lift up onto the toes and press into the heels. Keep the knees bent. And we're going into our downward facing dog. Knees are bent, press the chest back to the thighs, feel that stretch in the hamstrings and the glutes. When you straighten those legs up and begin to walk them out, you'll feel a nice stretch through the hamstrings all the way down into the calves. Bring that right leg up, press it back, you're going to open the right leg, turn the knee to the ceiling, stretch out the right oblique and the hip on that right side. Turn that foot back, pull that leg in, and you're going to plant that foot, and you're going to come up high lunge. You're gonna bring the hands down to the chest and you're gonna twist over 
the left elbow goes over to the right knee. Turn, face that, look past that right shoulder and elbow. Keep a straight line from your shoulders down your spine. Back to the front, high lunge. Step the foot in slightly, turn the toe out, and open up into a side lunge. Knee is lined up with the ankle. We're gonna come up, extend over, triangle pose. Take the hand either to the outside of the knee, or the outside of the right foot, or the inside of the right foot, but open up now. You wanna make sure that you're not rounded like this, right? You're not hunched over. Pull the head out of the turtle shell. So if you need to be up here, resting on your shin to get that move, you wanna feel a nice stretch through the obliques, the core. If you can, you can go side and see how it feel like your a rope is pulling you. Come back into a bent knee and you're gonna do a side, a side angle pose. Up into your warrior two, and then a reverse warrior. Fall back, knees bent. Circle the arms around. Drop that left knee to the floor. Open up that right arm. While you're here, walk that right foot out. You're gonna grab a hold of that left foot. Keep that hand open so that the shoulder twists up. Don't round that shoulder in. Stretch out the quad on the left leg. So you should be pulling that left foot into that hand while you're pulling the hand into the foot for that nice stretch. Don't slingshot that foot. Let that, right, that left foot go. Turn, come down into your lizard pose. Stretch out the hip flexor. Feel the stretch in the hips. Now again, you're not tucked under like this, right? You're pulling that head out of the turtle shell. If that means that you're up here, that's okay. If you can work your way down, feel a nice stretch in that hip. Come up onto the hands. You're going to turn the right or the left leg so that it faces you and we're gonna come over and you're gonna drop down into that side angle pose again. We're gonna do a gate pose here. So you're gonna push that right foot out and you're gonna lower down. From here, you're gonna come up and you're gonna drop the left hand down and to open up. From here, you're gonna circle around and you're gonna press back into that downward facing dog. We're gonna do everything on the left leg. Knees are bent, press into the chest. Now, if you can straighten those legs, there's still a slight bend in those knees. Straighten those legs, feel that stretch from the hamstrings all the way down to the calves. Raise the left leg up. Open it up and stretch out that hip. Pull it back around, pull that left leg in. High lunge. And you're gonna bring the hands down and you're gonna come out and twist that left elbow over the right, or over the left knee. And you don't want to be hung, you don't wanna be hunched over. You wanna have that head out of the turtle shell. leg down, walk that left foot out, open up. From here, you're gonna reach around with that left hand and grab that right knee. 
stretch out that hip flexor. So you want to push that right foot into that left hand as you're trying to pull the left hand in. It's a counter stretch. Okay, don't slingshot that foot. Just let it go. Bring it back around and come into your lizard pose. Again, you're not hunched under like this. You wanna pull that head and neck out. So if you're here, that's fine. If you can come down to your elbows, come down to your elbows. into a warrior two. We're gonna come up, extend out, side angle pose. Remember, you want to be, you wanna feel like your head is, has a rope attached to it and it's pulling you out. You're not hunched under and if you can, you can raise your arms out and feel like you're being stretched over to the left side. Otherwise, stay here. Bend that leg. Side angle pose. Come on back up into a warrior two and fall back to a warrior three. We're going to circle those arms down and around. You're going to turn that leg side angle pose one more time and from here you're going to push that foot out gate pose make sure that you're still lined up head and neck are going to the left you're not hunched in doesn't matter if you can't go all the way up and reach your arm over to your toe your arms might be super long to do that counterbalance stretch out the other side fall over to the right Open up that left side. Roll back around. Press back, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, deep breath, inhale. Hop forward to your hands. Flat back, inhale. Tuck the head. Deep breath, roll up one vertebrae at a time, inhale. Exhale, fall forward, knees are bent. Plant the hands, deep breath, inhale. Plant the hands, hop back, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, pull out of that turtle shell. Press back into a downward facing dog. Legs are hip width apart, walk the hands in. Reach that right hand over to that left ankle. Stretch out the oblique. Bring that right hand in. Left hand goes over. Then you're gonna walk the hands back, turn the toes out, and lower down. Malasana squat. Stretch out those hips. Fall forward, stretch out those inner thighs. If you want to, you can balance and go into crow. Come on back, stretch out those inner thighs one more time, hips and inner thighs. Take the right hand down, lift the left arm up, open up that chest, feel that stretch across the back, all the way from the left chest through the shoulder, and across the back, lower it down, left hand out, right hand up, try and keep that back straight. Walk those hands back, back out, downward facing dog, bend the knees, hop forward, deep breath. 
flat back, inhale, exhale, inhale, round up, exhale, fall forward, last time, last sun salutation, deep breath, inhale, flat back, plant the hands, hop back to chaturanga, upward facing dog, press back into your down dog. Walk the hands back, grab a hold of the elbows, interlace the arms, bend the knees as much as you need to. Let the hands fall down to the ground. Walk the hands over to the left, feel a nice twist, stretch out the hips back to the front, walk them to the right, back to the front, hands come up to the shin, flat back, deep breath, inhale, exhale, fold forward, roll up, inhale, one vertebrae at a time, Arms come overhead, grab that right arm, pull over to the left. Inhale, cactus those arms. Up, exhale, pull over to the left. Inhale up, cactus those arms, exhale. Inhale, full forward. Flat back, tuck the head, drop down, inhale, roll the chest up one vertebrae at a time. Exhale, hands together at the heart. That was your workout for the day. Thank you for joining me. If you liked the video, please remember to thumbs up it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, have a good day.